What is up, everybody? Ron Blue back again with another video and with Ashy Knuckles. I just got off of work, so I apologize. Anyway, we are back with another reaction video. Tyler, the creator, just dropped a new song called Dog Tooth. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, let's do it. Let's right, just guys. do it. I'm moisturized. So we good to go. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Dog Tooth, Tyler, the creator. Sometimes you just want to restart. Looking for ways to get rid of some things. Thrilling or simple. Everything must go. Whether it takes all day or all night. She could rub my face, I don't want nothing in return. Her body counting who she fucking never my concern. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house. She could rub my face, I don't want nothing in return. Except for some of her time and all her love, that's my concern. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house and turn it to a y'all. If you don't love my grandma, let me win. See, it's giving me the vibe of, uh, is it Otis? That's Otis uh, with the, uh, what was that? Was that a Rolls Royce? That was a modified Rolls Royce. And that's a Rolls Royce. And like, they're in like some type of parking lot, construction lot, doing donuts, just like uh, Ye and Kanye was doing. I mean, <laughs> Ye and Jay-Z was doing. Um, but I just like this, like the... The colors on this are so vibrant, and and maybe it's just the uh, music video itself. It's just so clear. We're gonna go back a little bit. She could rub my face. I don't want nothing in return. Her body counting who she fucking never my concern. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house. Nice old school Rolls Royce. She could rub my face. I don't want nothing in return except for some her time and all her love. That's my I'm trying to buy my neighbor house and turn it to a y'all. If you don't love my grandma, then we ain't really dogs, bitch. I shook your hand, I don't respect my army king. I'm not your twin, I'm not your daughter, we just met. See, I won't purchase her, no burger. Got hobbies, I got burgers, got dumpers, I'm perfect. Yeah, can the green wagon look better when the blue eye can never shine brighter in the dark? I bought the moon eye, the plane flock. Man, I, like, can we just like sit back and appreciate the evolution of Tyler the Creator? Like, this dude literally went from eating roaches to like standing on top of some type of oil oil tower or oil pipe, whatever this is, and doing donuts in the Rolls Royce. I mean, like, this dude has come a long way. And I just, when I say eating roaches, it's not necessarily, he did it for shock factor. Um, and like the beat was literally made from garage band to like such a huge production. Like this looks like it costs money. The clarity, I just can't get over the clarity of, I like the warm look of this music video. It's, it has like a warmer tone to it. that he had lifted up on a crane but that's a bmw um that he's doing or that someone's doing donuts in um with almost like a cashmere or some type of velvet um velvet baby blue seats i mean this dude is just crazy man this dude is really really dope and i just like the fact that like he he's He's really mature into this artist. 
um, that introduced us to so many artists, so many classic artists. Um, I would say, I'm going to say this. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Um, and you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Because Our Future was a group. It wasn't necessarily a, a music label, that, to my knowledge. Um, but if it was a music group, he would be compared to um, Baby, Birdman. So I say that because Tyler, we know Tyler, the creator, is to be the head of uh, Our Future. Then what spawned from that was Earl Sweatshirt, the internet, Sid, um, from the internet. <clears throat> um, we have, um, yeah, like I said, Sid, Steve Lacey. Um, did I say Earl Sweatshirt already? Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Frank Ocean. And, I mean, these are prominent artists in their respective genres. We have Frank that is very prominent and just a urban myth at this point, almost like an Andre Three Stacks of pop. Then we have the internet or, or and or Sid and Steve Lacey that has control over more so R&B and maybe, I mean, Steve Lacey is very like alternative, so control over that. Then you have Earl Sweatshirt that's like really into that underground vibe. Then you have the commercial king, Tyler the Creator. And I and I say that um very lightly as far as like some people think being commercial is um well oftentimes there is a negative um there, there's negativity around that word commercial. But what I mean is just that he is more more spread to every, like the average artist of, or the fan of, a huge hip hop fan of Tyler, the creator, may not know who Steve Lacey is. or Well, maybe it, it'll be hard to say that now, especially with Bad Habit, but they may not know who Sid is. Um, they will probably know who Frank Ocean is, but again, it just goes into more, um, why I say he's commercial compared to Earl Sweatshirt, for instance, but, um, let's continue. Look at his Hold on, because he just sandwiched the Rolls Royce into, I don't know what that is, probably another Rolls Royce. Let's go back a little bit. You guys let me know. That looks like somebody from our future that was doing donuts. I don't want nothing in return. And will I ever fall in love again? I can't confirm. I'm trying to buy my neighbor house and turn it to a yard. If you don't know my daughter name, then we ain't really... That's so dope, man. You guys let me know what you guys think about it. I was literally just listening to um, Tyler, the creator, a couple of days ago. And, you know, he does this every other year um, release. 
So when he tweeted this, um, one of my boys, Jamar, he hit me up. He sent it to me, and I'm like, dude, this is happening. But, like, even the intro, it's like you can hear him saying, like, call me if you get lost. So I was like, ah, man, like, is this going to be a deluxe? Which there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, I just felt like I was... I was actually ready for a, a completely different album, even if it was "Call Me If You Get Lost" too. I'm I'm okay with it, but it looks like what he's doing is gonna uh, actually do a um, deluxe to "Call Me If You Get Lost," um, and I'm not mad at it. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I just feel like that would have been like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. Because I, I know what this probably means is that we're not going to see Tyler for... An, I don't think he will drop another, like, a brand new album this year because of this estate sale. Deluxe, call me if you get lost. So we may not get a new project from him of completely new music until next year, maybe even the year after that. Um, so it is kind of unfortunate, but we'll just see, kind of gauge... You know what he does. He may he may give it all to us at once. That's what SZA did essentially. She did um, the deluxe of Control, and then in December she did um, SOS. So I'm just I'm just interested to see, um, you know, what's gonna happen next with this. I'm I'm just really excited overall, just to even get some new music. I'll, I'll take this, especially if it's really dope like this. Can't beat it. Sound like Pharrell might have been in it at the end saying uh, dog tooth. But um, let's just see. Because I'm going to... Oh, here it is right here. It just popped right up on Genius. Uh, let's see here. So the estate sale. Actually, it's, wow. So it's actually showing... The original Call Me If You Get Lost, that one is 16 songs long. So Call Me If You Get Lost, the estate sale is, uh, if this is actually accurate, so 35 songs. So we're getting... A whole album's worth of new songs, which this is what I like to see. Like, even if, you know, we don't get a brand new album this year, um, as far as like a different vibe, I'm totally okay with this much content, like from him. Um, they have TTC7, uh, it's rumored to be out sometime in 2023. So it says Tyler, the creator's upcoming seventh album, studio album is rumored to be out sometime in 2023, given that there has always been a two year gap between albums. Did I say, it to, yeah, I'm, I think I said every other year. So, so that's still two years. Yeah. Anyway, uh, a two year gap between album releases since his debut in 2011. The album uh, title was widely speculated to be uh, Welcome to the Disco. But Tyler later confirmed, uh, oh, let's see, on Twitter it's not. So, it's just interesting. We'll see. You know, hopefully it does come out this year, but I will definitely settle for some more Call Me If You Get Lost with uh, DJ Drama um, hosting it. Just gives that really dope vibe, man. And like I said, if anything... If it sounds anything like Dog Tooth, I'm with it. But let's go to Dog Tooth again, because that's what I was here to do. Um, let's see. Huh. Okay. So Tyler, the creator, produ produced it, which it sounds like him, but it just sounded like the additional voices I was hearing was. Uh, uh, was Pharrell, but maybe not. At least he's not credited on here. Um, but uh, video producer, Tara Rizavi. Um, shout out to you because that 
that was a really dope song. I mean, that was really, I really appreciated that um, that music video. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I can't find anything at the moment other than uh, what Genius is giving me. So I'm just gonna go off of that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. This is the only channel where you're gonna be getting videos like this, reaction videos. Uh, Guitar lessons, guitar covers, unboxings, and so much more. Um, hit that bell notification button, guys, so you know when I drop these videos and you won't miss out. Until next time, peace.